Hey guys, this is Bahama Reagan and welcome to the third episode of my Let's Play of Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. Since the last episode, where we defeated the final two tournaments of the E-Class Story Rank, I made a few changes to my Battle Chip deck and I want to show you real quick. So this is usually what I run most of the times. I put two barrier type chips, in this case the bubble wrap or whatever elemental barrier I can afford and guard mostly because of that way I can stop usually the strongest attacks which usually the CPU put the strongest chips in the first row then I put Sonic Wave and Sword just for some random damage to be honest attack plus 10 is exactly where it was last time then I put still the yo-yo 2 is still there the high cannons are still there and in here, instead of the bubble cross, I put the white sword. There is a reason for it, and it's gonna be very pertinent with what we're going to do today. In the R slot, I put a high cannon for just some raw power, and I substitute the heal 50, the recover 50, with the recover 80, since it still has 20 megabyte cost and heals for 30 extra HP, so that's always nice. This, with what I got, because I didn't buy any new chips, this is best I could do with what little I got. And now, without further ado, I'm going to show you one thing. What you could say, we're gonna do the D-Class tournaments? Well, not this episode actually, what I'm going to show you is right here, Open Battle. So what is Open Battle? Open Battle is essentially a gauntlet of battles with very random opponents most of the times, anyway, I usually remember there being different opponents. And the, the field is random, although for now we only have normal, I think. And there are going to be 10 battles in a row. You can leave whenever you want, but if you clear all 10, you actually get a pretty good reward. And if memory serves, the reward that comes from here is actually pretty useful later down the line. So, today we're just gonna try and clear the whole thing, although with the few chips I have, I doubt I'll get too far, but let's see what we can do. Of course it's free, so you don't need to pay any money. This is the best way to grind. Oh, so it's uh, Turbo Man. Turbo Man, I think it, he's Fire Element. No, it's Normal Element. Okay, let's see what we can do here. My deck should be set to face opponents like the him. Or hell, even strong opponents like Gutsman, to be honest. Okay, sorry if it gets a little laggy sometimes. It's my laptop that really doesn't want to cooperate. Anyway, let's get going. Okay, so he has... Okay, so the first line of chips is a heat shot, which is essentially the shotgun chip that we had earlier, only fire element. And that's the burner chip like in the final row. Uh, that deals fire damage and hits all chips, I think. And he has guard and barrier in the slot ends. Hmm. Now let's see what we can do here. Should be fine with guard putting. Wait. Okay, hit the yo-yo. And like this, we should be safe. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, we dodge this. 150 hit. Okay, the guard went down. Oh, because it's a deck attack, I see. So, we're one defense down. And we're gonna have to deal with it, apparently. Ouch. Yeah, the burner is a deck attack too. But the white sword is essentially dead.
Yeah. This isn't good. Okay, we got the bubble wrap. That's actually pretty nice. It's a war base uh, barrier, so you shouldn't be taking any damage. Although it only blocks one hit. And we should be able to finish it this turn. Yeah, definitely. And down he goes. And that's opponent number one. Busting rank level 9, 200 Zenny, and we got the burner chip, nice! 40 damage fire based, we are gonna need elemental chips later down the line. Oh, it's a normal navy. Don't be fooled, even normal navies can have dangerous decks now. This is kind of the beauty of, um... Open battles, you don't know what you're going up against until you face it. And apparently he is still a pushover. You can just sit back, enjoy, this is gonna be an easy win. We are going to take some damage, but not too much. Half of his deck is pretty much empty anyway. Well, the guard is gonna be pointless if Mega Man destroys the chips or dodge everything. <laughs> okay, he's gonna heal up, but I'm not concerned. Not even one bit. So, the beautiful thing about the elemental barriers is that they will block one uh, attack. It doesn't matter what kind of attack, they will block one, and they, the chip itself won't take any damage unless it's a, um, a deck-hitting chip, or an elemental attack that is super effective. For example, the bubble wrap is water element, so an electric chip will automatically destroy it. It doesn't have to deal a lot of damage, like even 10 electric damage will still destroy that barrier. And here's the coup de gras. Oh, he goes first. Doesn't really matter though. You prolonged your own, only your suffering. We're on a roll. And is this like what our fifth high cannon? Don't think you can use more than four of the same chip. In the Battle Network series, you can only have four of the same chip, so... I don't think it's different here. Not a normal Navy 1. Yeah, there's not much variety in here. But at least it's another, it's another guy. Ooh... This deck may be slightly problematic if uh, the CPU, if the AI, actually goes his way. Two Mega Cannons. That's gonna leave a mark. So we just have to pretty much hit as hard as we can right now that he can't deal any damage to us. Now that I think about it, I won't be taking any damage at all this turn. That's actually crazy. Now we're gonna get a lot of damage. At least 140. Barry will block one Mega Cannon, and that's actually pretty good. <laughs> we dodged the other. <laughs> Mega Man, you're the boss. Of course, we couldn't dodge the um, the bomb. Bombs are actually a little more accurate in this game. Which is actually funny considering that the damn thing in the Battle Network series it are actually pretty bad. If the opponent isn't exactly three squares ahead of you, those bombs will miss. Unless it's a wide range bomb, in which case it's gonna hit pretty much everything if you hit the middle of their turf. 
increasing level S, that's actually very good. And we got our, our second Mega Cannon. Very nice. Can't help but appreciate it. Okay, let's see who's the next one. And there he is. Yeah, navvies like Gutsman and Roll are prone to appear right here. <sighs> this may be somewhat of a roadblock. If it doesn't go our way, we'll probably have to rethink our chip strategy. But it is possible to win. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, so he has his Gut Sponge, which deals uh, 70 damage. He has a Mega Cannon, Shockwave, and Sonic Wave, like we do. Uh, two cannons, two high cannons, mega cannon in the R slot, that's gonna be a problem. At the very least, we should be able to block at least one strike a turn, so that's something. But if we don't act first, we're still gonna take a lot of damage every turn. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we go first, so the Guts Punch should be blocked. I know the Guts Punch has the break property, but it can't destroy this barrier, that's good. Alright, bud. Hit it as hard as you can. Because Gatsman will do the same to you. And then some. Okay, we dealt more damage to him than he did to us overall. That doesn't really say much. Come on, act first, act first. Damn it. If only. Wait. Oh, this is still pretty good. You can reflect two strikes. Mega Man, in this situation, I'd like you not to dodge, honestly. <laughs> you wasted it. You double wasted it. I'm not sure if the Guts Hammer will destroy Guard. I mean, it probably will. If it doesn't... And it doesn't. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's try. Yes! And we officially won, first try. I'll be honest, I, w I thought Gutsman would have made, uh, made me lose. I would get his Guts Punch, that's pretty nice. Uh, think of Guts Punch like a sword in terms of power and melee, only that he doesn't hit the deck. Okay, let's see who our fifth opponent is. No, I exited it like an idiot! Okay, I guess I'll just... get back to it. I'll just speed it up a little. Oh, we haven't seen this one. Uh, he's full of bombs. Okay, speed it up. Okay, destroy the guard. Yeah, guard is actually a very frail chip against bombs because... it's, um... It only has 10 HP, technically speaking, so yeah. yeah. I'm sorry if I'm spinning this up, but I do want to clear the entire gauntlet by the time I finish this video, and it's already 13 minutes in. I've been a complete idiot. Oh, we're gonna face Ring now. Ugh. This isn't gonna be good. Guard goes down fast, this is gonna be very bad. Okay, so let's see what she has. A uh, time bomb in the slot, which is both a guard and damage chip. White sword and long sword, two rod and quake, jealousy up there, and a yo yo. Hmm. Not exactly the best lineup here. Let's see how this goes. Of course, she hits the white sword. She dodges my sword, because of course. I'm probably gonna lose this one. Okay, this is actually gonna hurt. Yeah, we're, we're gonna lose. Even if I used the slot in, that wouldn't do anything. Uh, let's try again. I'd like to get to the end of the gauntlet, to be honest, but I think it's gonna be pretty much impossible. Well, better than the yo-yo, to be honest. No. No. 
and rip my slots. Rip the yo-yo. What else is new? Rip the sword. The ring is a big one in destroying the deck. Don't have slot and we basically lost here. Try, but I still think I'm gonna lose. Wait, maybe this can work. Yep, this worked. This didn't work. Not exactly the way I envisioned it to, but. Okay, now you're pulling my leg. I'm gonna destroy that time bomb. No way I'm gonna take any more damage than this. I'm still gonna lose anyway. Okay, let's give up here. And get out. So yeah, now you see just how dangerous uh, open battle can be. I still am gonna face a few fights. Only so that I can get to 3000... Actually, 3500? I do want to get some better chips. I'm just gonna let this speed up. Sorry if uh, this video is gonna be a little bit more like this. No, it's not really the best thing, especially right now that it's super speed up. But if I didn't, if I didn't get out like a complete idiot, that would have been better, wouldn't it? I'm still gonna leave it in. I still gotta leave it in, because I like being treated like a complete idiot. I mean, let's face it, that was an epic fail if you ever saw one. Okay. Got another high cannon. At the very least, the rewards that we got from the, w the time we retreated are still gonna be there. Okay, so here's roll. It's gonna be a big, bit of a pain. Okay, so what does she have? Ooh, she has a rock cube. This can be a problem. Rock cube is a battle chip with very high HP and provides a guard. However, we have Sonic Wave which will uh, break through it. We will deal damage to the cube, as well as roll herself, if she doesn't dodge, of course. She also has Cross Gun, which is a more powerful shotgun, a satellite chip, uh, think of a mini bomb only in uh, thunder form, a triple needle and guard, and then some recoveries and shotguns. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm not gonna speed this one up. So we're gonna place our guards. I'll have to wear that out first before doing anything to her. Yeah, Sonic Wave has the ability of Pierce, which means she, it goes through any barrier, or rather physical barriers. It doesn't really work all that well with um, Bubble Wrap, for example. But we're not gonna get anywhere like this. Unless we destroy that thing, we're not going anywhere. Guard should help us a little bit here, though. Although I wonder, a counter from Guard, does, does it hit Roll or the Barrier? Well, I guess it hits Roll directly. If the sword double hit the cube, I would have laughed so hard. But anyway, the cube is out of the picture now. That's always nice. Yeah, you get a small heal, but you also get damage. Okay, she only got the cross gun. And Bubble Wrap will deal with it. She's still gonna hit with Heart Flash, but I'm not too concerned about it. If only I could've won with, um... This is gonna hurt. 
Oh, not as much as I thought. Thought he would have dealt like 30 damage or more or something. It was satellite 3? Oh crap. 60 damage. No, wait, no. Not to the entire deck. I didn't remember that wrong. Okay, let's finish this. Yeah, Satellite 3 is one of those chips that you really get to hate in the late game. You'll see why. Oh, we got another guard. That's always nice. Okay, third win. Who's next? Okay, Turbo Man again. No. Okay, this I'm gonna skip because if the deck is the same, which it is, I can just skip through it. So, speed up. Oh, we lost the yo yo. That's not good. You see why I do speed up like this? If I know I can win some fights, there's no point in watching them over and over, and we got the second burner. It's always nice when... Okay. Battle again. Okay, we encounter normal Nemidan. This is gonna be a mini-boss. If we win, we're gonna get the normal Navi one, uh, Navi chip, which we don't have. No, I'm gonna go like this. Alright, let's see what you got. Uh, v bubble, V uh, V heat, long sword, white sword. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Let's see how this goes. Guard's still up, at least. Very good, very good. He has a lot of very powerful hitting chips. But at the very least, we should be able to win, somehow. That V bubble doesn't hit. Wait. No, I think V bubble hits the f last chip. Now we should be in the clear here. We won't win this turn. We'll win the next one for sure. I'm gonna try anyway. Never mind, I don't really need to. She did my job for me. All the better. And we got an S rank too. Another M cannon, which is always nice. And the Navi chip for normal Navi 1. Extra 500 Zenny, which will go directly in the first tournament we're gonna do in the next episode. Okay, let's do battle 6. Okay, normal Navi 2. Okay, things are going to get a little rougher now. Let's see what the second half of the open battle is going to bring me. Probably nothing but pain and suffering. Yeah, we get a lot of crosses. Cross bubble cross, heat cross, cross guns, high cannons. The works. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna end up horribly, I'm pretty sure. Chips like those though, heat cross, bubble cross, we're gonna need a lot of them, to be completely honest. Elemental chips in the next few tournaments are going to be key to win. Brute forcing it will not always work as much as I hate to admit it. I mean, 
brute force can always win it, but it mostly goes down to luck in that regard. Okay, I think we're gonna lose... Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose the White Sword. Oh well, Ripperoni, I guess. Wait, we'd get the, the attack plus 10, so that's... What a waste. Yeah, we're, we're still gonna win. It's gonna take just a little longer. Hey, I'm fine with getting an, uh, a rank 8, if need be. And again, it's getting a little laggy. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try and have it fixed. Actually, I'm trying to save up money to get a better computer. Hopefully, I will be able to get it by the time this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic dies down. I'll be able to go back to work, get the money, and buy a new computer. But now, if you see some lag, I'm sorry. Okay, we got another bubble cross. That's very, that's gonna be very good for the fire tournament. Six wins. Who's number seven? Ooh, Ice Man. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. He's a water element, Navi. Anything electric elemental would be so nice right now. I'm not gonna edit, but I'm probably gonna end up completely destroyed. I think he's the boss of the water tournament. Oh, he has the water sword, the aqua sword, and the aqua blade. Oh, God. Yep, it's gonna be horrible. Let's see how this goes. Also, I guess this is as good a time as any to tell you. If you have an elemental navy like Aquaman, Iceman here, sorry, and use a water element chip like himself, you'll get an extra power boost. Keep this in mind because in the next tournaments, it will get very relevant. I am not joking. <sighs> oh, his freeze tower can actually break through guards. Not good. Oh, guard is down. Okay, bubble wrap, that's good. Whew. Okay, this is not good. Like this. Uh, 150 damage. Buy no, buy bubble wrap. <sighs> Thought he was gonna get rid of the yo-yo for a second. Yeah, remember when I said that this was the hard part? Now you know why. Okay, I'll have to gamble here. If, if it doesn't work, I lost. Whew. Got lucky that I got the, pl the attack plus 10 on that yo-yo. Or I would've definitely lost. Like I said, luck sometimes has to come in your favor. Okay, we got Cold Punch. I'm getting a lot of water-based chips, so I guess I'm gonna do the fire uh, tournament next. Okay, who's gonna be next? Fireman, of course. I'm actually gonna try and edit this one out, because I think it may be useful. I wanna get in a bubble cross, actually. But I need to make a few modifications to my deck. Let me think. I can forego a high cannon. And... probably the sword. the bubble cross. 
and in here I'll just put the the filler recovery 30. Let's see how this goes. If it doesn't work, I'll just remove guard, put sword back in, and put a bubble cross in the first slot. Okay, his strongest chip is fire sword. That's gonna deal around 130 damage. I have to hope that guard will be able to block it. Oof. Alright, let's see how this goes. No. Crap. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. So yeah, guard can block physical damage. Or rather, it can, but it gets destroyed. This is probably gonna be a loss. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, this is gonna be a loss. Cover 30, yeah, it's not gonna be doing much good. Oh crap, this is, get, this is gonna hurt! Ah, uh, yo, yo, yeah, we definitely lost this one. He didn't get a Meteor 3 at 60%. It's one strike at 70 damage. Ugh. This is definitely a loss. I gotta fight to the bitter end, but I'm still no, I gotta lose. I'll have to change my strategy just a little bit. Even if I do this and recover some health, it's still not gonna do me any good. One hit from the fire sword will take me down. And he's got one! What do you know? And I get first turn. The only thing that could've saved me was bubble wrap. And he gets knocked out in the first turn. Just my luck. Yeah, so long. I knew I was gonna lose this one, obviously. From the moment I saw that lineup. Okay, let me retry. But I'm gonna edit out my deck this time. Okay, so I'm gonna go bubble cross up front. And then I'm gonna put another high cannon here. The yo yo is at risk because the heat V and um, heat strikes hit the first chip right here, the last one of the three. So I want to keep the bubble cross right there, because if I remember... What's the button? Wait, no. Yeah, this should work, actually. What I'm gonna put in there... Yeah, high cannons. Wait, another thing that I. No, 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 no. It's not good right now. I'll just put another high cannon in. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Let's see if this little strategy can work. This video may be a little longer, but I want to try and clear the entire thing. If I don't, I'm sorry, I guess. Why do I have to get guard on the first turn? I have to get it to the second. That way I can block the strongest attack. And not risk to lose a battle chip. Yeah, if that was if that was the yo-yo, it would have been destroyed. Okay, there it is, Bubble Cross. 70 damage because it's super effective. Destroyed the last cannon. Still gonna attack with the Fire Sword. Ouch. Oh, attack 
plus 10 can take it, luckily. Are you serious right here? If you hit- If you went for the 3 hits, you would've killed me. Okay, here I only have one- Okay, here I have only one chance. I have to get hit first. Recover. Block the V- uh, the V attack. With the bubble wrap. And then somewhat pray that Mega Man can hit for before his firearm. If that happens, then I won. I already lost. Yeah, I lost. Unless I can pull a stunt right here. Because that destroyed my yo-yo. I'm gonna try again, because I think I can win this. Starting strong... Still doesn't... Doesn't change the fact that he's going to destroy the yo-yo. <sighs> I'm starting to think that I can't win this. Even added more power to it, as if he even needed it. Actually, he kinda did. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up, because I know I'm gonna lose here. Without the yo-yo, which is my strong hitting chip, I can't- I can't- I really can't win. I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one last try, and then I'm gonna stop and try another time, I guess. Starts with the fire sword this time. Oh god. Started with high damage already. I'm not gonna win this one at all. The fire sword will destroy any chip in my lineup. Okay. Okay, never mind. We destroy a heat shot. It's always good. Okay, I'll be honest, that wasn't a bad start. That dodge was actually pretty cool. There may be chance. There may be hope. I wasn't betting on that anymore, to be honest. Ha! <laughs> can still go for a meteor, that's problematic. Like I said. Very problematic. I'm still gonna wait, though. Okay, we can win this. Actually, I think we already won. Bubble Wrap will bro block the sword anyway. And the yo-yo will finish the job for me. Yes! It's only a matter of getting lucky and try and try again, and eventually you will win. But, every time you retry, you will lower your busting level. Definitely not gonna get the fire sword right here. Let's see who's the ninth one. And I'm probably not gonna be happy at all. Elac, man. I don't have any wood chips at all. So this is gonna go down to the wire. Wait, I need guard back in. I think he has a Lex sword, but he's not gonna use it immediately, so I may have a chance. Okay, we go out and I'll put the sword back in. Sorry, here. Wait, no. Uh, bubble wrap out. Leaf shield in. 
Leaf Shield is the same as Bubble Wrap, only Wood Island, so that's actually pretty good. So in one go, I faced the, the boss of the Water Tournament, Fire Tournament, and now Electric Tournament. All I'm missing is the Wood Tournament, and then I'm set. He's going for the Alex Sword already. I'm gonna lose guard in the first turn, apparently. This ain't good. At least we'll block the Zap Ring. Zap Ring is a pretty annoying chip. It doesn't deal a lot of damage. But if it hits you... Oh, it destroys guard? Seriously? It paralyzes you. And it doesn't allow your Net Navi to... It use its Navi attack. So Mega Man couldn't have used his Mega Buster. So I have to prey on a Leaf Shield proc, otherwise I'm going nowhere. Oh well, guess I can speed it up, it's not gonna change anything. I'm gonna heal up, but that that other Lex Sword will still kick my ass. It's a satellite too. Well, I've only delayed the inevitable, I guess. Hmm. Slot in failure at 80%. That's rare. have to somehow win this before... Please tell me that yo-yo is faster. It isn't. Well, rip. I could have had a chance. Okay, I'll edit my deck. It's clear that guard is not gonna do me any good. I'll just have to brute force my way through. Wait... What if... That's a big if... Hmm... Wind does work as a barrier type shield, so... I guess it would be worth a try. At the very least, I'll have some guard that will actually do something. Guess not. I misread what that does. Yeah, I got completely destroyed here. Never mind, I guess I'll just go back to the usual. Usual brute. Wait, area grab is actually pretty good. What did that do again? Where's the button? No, oh, it reduces the enemy dodge rate, so. Useful with swords, but. Not really good here. We'll just add the V gun to do some uh, extra deck damage. That might work. It's doing something already. It's doing a lot already. Not exactly the best start, but I guess it's better than before. Okay, one satellite is down. I guess it's gonna count for something. It's still gonna hit me with that zap ring. Destroy the sonic wave. Area grab, because of course I have to be unlucky now. I can't dodge. Let's see what I can do here. Although I honestly doubt I'll win this one again. I only have one chance. 
that chance relying on the freaking yo-yo surviving. Wait. No, I got hit by the zap ring, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be a gamble for the for the next turn. This might work. Of course no it won't! Yeah, I'm sorry, this video is gonna be a little longer, guys, but do bear with me. I can win this, I know I can. I just have to get a little lucky. That zap ring is a huge pain in the butt. Well, at the very least the satellites are out. And I dodged the zap ring. Look. Whew. Okay. Off to a much better start than before, that's for sure. Yeah, paralysis in this game is very much like Pokemon, but even more annoying than Pokemon. It doesn't make you lose any speed, but does make you uh, deal less damage. Okay, I saw the Alex Sword, so I'll have to power through as fast as I can. Trying using the high cannon in the R slot is not gonna be, do me any good right now. Not yet, anyway. I have to quietly wait until the right time comes. There goes my leaf shield. Oh, never mind. The yo-yo did my job for me. Oof. Not a busting level one, and that's pitiful. But we got to the final opponent. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's Number Man. So remember Number Man from the first tournament? Yeah, forget about that one. That pitiful one with only one cannon. This one, if we're not careful. He's clearly gonna kick our ass. I'm gonna bring back the guard here. And then, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Doesn't matter if I put the leaf shield or the bubble wrap. Alright, let's see if we can win the number man navy chip. Still probably not gonna use it, but... You know, it's good for completion's sake. Okay, so he's gonna start with his Prism Chip. Think of Guard, only stronger. This is not gonna be good. He has a few chips that we need to be careful of. Prism is one of them. The one below it um, will transform the floor into holes, making all of my uh, Sword Chips and the Shockwave completely useless. Time Bomb for protection. That Curse shield for protection as well. That's still gonna deal damage. Barrier to block one strike. Yeah, it's got a pretty defensive build. If I lose here, I'll probably have to recreate my deck completely. But I have to take care of Prism as fast as I can. Come on. Come on. No, he dodged. Why must you dodge? Take a look at what Prism does. Wait... Am I missing something? Oh yeah, there's the Prism. So at the end of the turn, Prism takes all the damage that he absorbed and will put it back to you. But now he's going to transform the floor into holes, Making... even making Guard useless, now that I think about it. See, the sword can't get past the holes. That's too bad. This is gonna be a war of attrition if I ever saw one. A cursed shield. It's a good thing that Cursed Shield goes out of the way. Think of Guard only a little stronger. Ok, 
Okay, I'll be able to destroy Prism in this turn, which is good. Won't be able to use my Shockwave, because Shockwave travels on the ground. Shame, but what can I do? At the very least, we'll destroy the Prism now. And there comes the Time Bomb, of course. Because we can't have enough damage already. Can you? Yeah, I think the Leaf Shield is gone. Yeah, it's definitely gone. Okay, I'm gonna use here the High Cannon before the Barrier kicks in. At the very least, I'll deal more damage this way. After that, it's basically gonna come down to the wire. Yeah, this is definitely a War of Attrition. Wins the one that gets more lucky with its with its chips. If number if number man gets any more uh, barriers, it's not gonna be do me any good. I can win with uh, Mega Buster spamming, sure. And there's the M Cannon. Still can heal myself for 80 points, but that's not gonna help me in the long run. Never mind, we actually won. Yo yo, baby! Woo! That took longer than expected. And we got Prism! This is actually a very good chip to have. It's good for one turn, but if it racks up enough damage, oh boy, it's gonna dish out a lot. And with that, we also got the, the nap chip for Number Man. Alright, that was something. We cleared the entire thing, and we can do it again. Why does it say that the record is 7 wins? Oh yeah, because the record is every time you don't have to press the retry button. Anyway, let's finish this by buying some extra chips. Let's see what we get. Okay, fire. A shockwave. Wood. Very good. Mini bomb. This is actually pretty nice. It's a water uh, barrier, like the bubble wrap. But does deal damage back. It's like a water-based prism. Cross bomb, not bad. Another yo-yo too. Magnetic bomb. Uh, this is the electric mini bomb. Curse shield, nice. And panel grab, not great. I'm gonna buy another couple. Guard. Zap ring, electric, very nice. And another heat shot, fire based. Okay. I'm gonna put one last. Oh, another zap ring. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna stop right here because otherwise I won't have any chips for the next tournament. So, I'm gonna show you real quick the Navi chip. Nope. Not here, Mega Man. The Navi chips that we got. Then I'm gonna wrap up the episode. So, where are we? So, first we got burners. 100 HP, 40 damage to the entire deck, but 50 megabytes. Yeah, that's pretty hefty. Uh, Guts Punch, 30 megabyte, but for 160 HP and 70 damage with break property, that's very good. Uh, normal Navi 1, uh, it's Mega Man, only weaker, to be honest. 20 less damage, can't hit the deck with its Navi attack. Uh, Cold Punch, break property like Guts Punch but less HP and water element. Prism. Oh, where's the button? Guard... It, gu it guards... Uh, it guards and attacks at the end of the turn, dishing back all the damage that he has absorbed. Number Man. 140 megabyte, that's very little. 400 HP, and his attack is the dice. 
It can deal between 10 and 60 damage, hitting the entire deck with it. You can say that it's the luck of the roll of the dice. Hit V, it's the V gun or a file fire element. Uh, this is a weaker sonic wave. 50 damage instead of 70. Tree bomb, it's a mini bomb in uh, wood format. 30 megabyte though. I'll see how I'll use it. Aqua ball, um, 30 megabyte, uh, 160 HP store, and transform its damage into attack power. It hits at the end of the turn. Cross bomb, 40 megabyte, 30 damage to the entire deck, but 250 HP. That's actually pretty solid. Another yo yo 2, you already know what this does. Magnetic bomb, it hits for. Actually, no, I got it wrong. It hits for 10 damage. I think it hits the entire deck, but I'm not sure. But it also causes stun, so the opponent won't be able to use its Navi attack. This is gonna be good for the electric tournament. Curtis Shield, uh, what this does, it's like counter, but he has 180 HP. It takes damage, unlike guard, but every time it gets hit, it deals 50 damage back. It's nice, but 40 megabyte, that's pretty heavy. Panel grab. It's like area grab, but it increases your hit and accuracy by 10 points instead of 30. Zap ring 2. 60 HP, 50 damage, 40 megabyte. Yeah, that's hefty. But it can stun the enemy. Heat shot is the fire base shotgun. And zap ring. Sapring 1 has 40 megabytes too? I remember it like being 20 or something. I guess I'm remembering it wrong. Oh well. In between episodes, I'll figure out a deck. I think I'm gonna start with either the grass or... Um, water or thunder tournaments, because I think those are the best... The best that we can do at the time at the time I'm making this video, so we'll just have to see. Join me next time as we're going to be start tackling the D-Class tournaments. This has been Bahama Raven, and I hope to see you again very soon. See ya!